You know, T.O. to take over Lopez has barely over 22 fights. And I think he suffered from CTE. He goes on another racial rant, talking about he's trying to unify all races. He also talks about he needs to fight an elite black fighter because he's beating two white fighters. What happened to the elite Latino fighter? That's where I'm at. It seems like Tifimo has declared war on top rank. He feels he's underpaid. But like I said, you pay like your way. He's not a draw in boxing. So he's declared war on top rank. That's why they're having this legal dispute now. And before you lay your comment down talking about Terrence Crawford's ducking him or Javante Davis is ducking him, they're not in the same weight class. And also, I want you to keep in mind, Tifimo Lopez is not fighting anybody right now because he's in a legal dispute with top rank. And we don't know when that's gonna end. Another thing that TFM has commented on is Terrence Crawford's resume. And I have to be unfair on this, and a lot of content creators are guilty of this too. And even I was giving Terrence Crawford crap for not fighting Sean Porter because they were friends. But let's listen to a little bit what TFM was saying. This is from 210 Boxing TV. I don't own the rights to this material, it's for educational purposes only, and it's fair use. This is TFM Lopez on Boxing 210 TV. Don't do that. I'd rather let's settle it as two men. Mano y mano. That's what boxing is all about. The best of the best. The best fight the best. If you think you better than me, then show it to the world. What does it take? What weight would what you fight Crawford at? I'll Some fight him at his. Weight. He's the A side. Or 54. Javante Davis is the A side. Terrence Crawford, the A side. And they're going to use this against me. I don't care. I just want to beat you guys because you guys are not good. You guys don't believe in yourself. You don't. Now, Tiafimo contradicts himself in so many ways. He's saying that Sean Porter was washed when he fought Terrence Crawford. Errol Spence was washed when he fought Terrence Crawford. But Tia Fimo picked Errol Spence to beat Terrence Crawford. And Tia Fimo's good at the excuse game when he's talking about Terrence Crawford's opponents. He's good at that. I don't do the excuse game myself. I like to give fighters credit for the wins. But let's play Tia Fimo's excuse game, right? Let's play that. Loma Chico had a shoulder injury when he fought Tiafimo. And even though I give Tiafimo a win, a lot of people thought that fight was a draw. And yet, Tiafimo does not bring up that injury. He just takes credit for being Lomachenko, who he says was pound for pound number one over Canelo and Crawford. Now let's go to Josh Taylor. By the way, I gave Tio credit for both wins. Both wins were questionable to a lot of people. I gave him credit for both those wins. Now let's look at his other win that he brags about all the time. Josh Taylor. A lot of boxing insiders and boxing fans thought Josh Taylor lost to Catterall. They thought Catterall got robbed in that fight, but they gave the decision to Josh Taylor. And Josh Taylor didn't look good in that fight. After that, Taylor had some setbacks. He had some injuries. Once he got in the ring with Tia Fimo, he looked drained at the weight. And Tia Fimo won that fight. He won it. It was a great performance by Tia Fimo. But people say Josh Taylor was done at 140 when he fought Tiafimo Lopez. He should move to 147. But last but not least, he got dominated by George Cambosis, which ends the argument for me. If you claim you're the best of the best, you don't lose the guys like Cambosis in your prime. Case closed. You can say what you want about Terrence Crawford's resume, Javante Davis' resume. They're not gonna lose the fighters like Cambosis in their prime. And I don't wanna hear about no asthma attack excuse. He did not look like he was struggling for breath when he's talking about he won the fight. So for T. Fimo to say they're not that good, what does that make him losing to Cambosis, who is a C-class fighter or a lower opposition? Him getting the best of Sean Porter as he claimed in sparring does not erase him getting dominated by George Cambosis in the bright lights. By the way, T. Fimo, not all black people are Christians. Stop stereotyping. But anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think about TFM's comments. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.